Hey guys, I am back, finally, with the number one video I have been dying to make before Hurricane Florence came and effed everything up. It feels so good to be back. I feel like I missed all of September. <laughs> I love September because it's the month before October, which is spooky month, and I like to put out spooky content for September and October, but September's over. So basically, if you're new here, where I've been is that my computer broke for like two or three weeks and then Hurricane Florence came and wrecked my state, but now I'm back and barring any like unforeseen circumstance, should be back at least for a while. We'll see, fingers crossed. Okay, the video that you've been waiting for, you've been asking about, I am so excited for the Dolls Kill style walkthrough. I can not wait to show you guys what I have picked out, but I think it will surprise you. Oh my God, I can't wait to show you. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that package and I'll be right back. I'll never forget this day. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so this shirt, this top, is one that I am the most excited about. It is a sheer um, long sleeve shirt that says antisocial across the front. I love this shirt. A lot of people expect me to be kind of like life of the party because I'm on YouTube, I guess. But in reality, you guys are the only social interaction that I want. We will talk a lot more about how to style this. I know it's kind of an unconventional choice since it is like completely see-through. We'll talk about it. This guy, I can barely get it all in the frame. <laughs> this is a cropped hoodie with these like green lace up details on the front. And then the back says brainwashed. Brainwashed by what? I don't know, you tell me. I'm going with aliens. I think aliens. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Dude, okay, so I like this one because the sleeves are like extra, extra, extra long. So they like hang down off your hands and it's really comfy and it's really cute. These two pants, um, I think they are the same style. They both have these kind of like lace up fronts instead of like zippers or buttons. They both have this like fringy kind of top and they both have these zippers down um, on the bottom of the pant leg. And okay, so I pretty much never buy pants online unless it's like leggings or like stretchy pants because I just never know how they're gonna fit me and I just feel like it's a risk I'm not willing to take usually. I'm kind of in between the sizing chart on these guys. So um, I got this one in a small and this one in a medium and I figured we could just like try it on together, see how they fit, see if it runs big or small or whatever. And hopefully that can help you determine what your size would be based on how these fit me. I don't know, we'll try it out and see. These pants, I don't know why, but I thought these were gonna be sweatpants. They're not. They're a lot more like, um, like denim-y, kind of. I don't know why I thought they were gonna be sweatpants. It might be because the waistband is elastic and um, there's elastic like around the feet, the ankles, but they're not sweatpants. Heads up if you thought that as well. <laughs> I am really, really, really excited about these pants because I don't have anything like this in my current wardrobe. I have no camo and I definitely don't have orange and yellow camos. So I can't wait to like get in there and like start styling this and just see what we come up with. It's gonna be something new and different and I'm excited. <laughs> oh wait, no. These are the Glowing Sylvain camo pants from the brand TikTok. I got them in a size. Uh, I'm not sure what size they are. I think I got them in a medium. I'll double check that. I don't know. Yeah, medium, medium, yep, yep, okay. One thing that I really like about Dolls Kill's website and all websites that do this, they tell you what size the model is wearing and how tall the model is. So it just helps put it in perspective. You can see how the proportions fit the model. And even though of course they have a sizing chart, it sometimes can be hard to tell how it might fit you or what size you might need. I found it really helpful in particular for this pair of pants because their model is wearing a size small and she's 5'2". I'm 5'8". 
So I'm definitely gonna need something bigger than a small because I'm six inches taller than their model. You know what I mean? Okay, this is the last one. This one I am so, so, so excited for too. This is a cropped hoodie. It's making lots of noise because there are chains that hang from it and they kind of hang down um, around your waist. Hard to tell until it's like on a body what this is gonna look like. Oh my gosh, it's so soft and comfy on the inside. And these chains add just like a, a kind of punky touch to it that I just love. The sleeves are really long and have little thumb holes. This is so comfy. All right, so those are the pieces and now it is time to jump in to, uh, to the walkthrough part of this video. <sighs> my favorite part. Oh my gosh, these take up way more room <laughs> on my floor than most of my displays. Doing full outfits, man. The reason that I chose these pieces in particular is I think they can all be like switched around in any kind of combination and all still work. So we'll have three outfits today, but really you have like what? Nah, no, math, I don't know. <laughs> I think for today's video, I really like the anti-social shirt with these red tartan pants. So I think I'll keep these two together and then I might swap these guys out. Ah, yes, just like that. The main reason I switched these two around for now is I think all the white is gonna look cool with these stitches on the um, these pants here. And because I just love crop tops with baggy pants, I suspect that that might stem from growing up with my fashion icons being TLC. They're like the queens of crop tops and baggy pants. I just like remember myself as a little youth looking up to them like, ah, this is so cool. <laughs> I would think that TLC probably shaped a lot of the fashion choices that I make today. Let's start right in the middle here. Let's start with the antisocial shirt and the red tartan pants. So I guess what we'll talk about first in this one is how I wanna style this see-through top. Just because it's see-through doesn't mean it has to be like super sexy or super revealing. It just depends how you style it. Like you could make it that way or you could just make it like a regular top. A see-through shirt like this just gives you like a huge range of things you could do with it. You could go from wearing like nothing under it to a bra, to a crop top, to a tank top, to a t-shirt, to a long sleeve shirt. You could put it over a dress even. Like I wouldn't write the shirt off just because it's see-through. You could think of it as an accessory that can go over anything anything that you're comfortable in. That said, my comfort level is pretty comfortable. I like to play up that it's see-through. So I'll probably pair this with just a bra. Let's see what we got. Okay, so I think this is another new drawer for you guys. So this is like just regular bras. These are sports bras and like strappy ones. And these are like shorts that I wear under dresses and stuff tights and stuff back there. So what we're looking at for this video, obviously this spiky bra is literally perfect. <laughs> this would be my ideal top choice, but because I'm actually so in love with this shirt, oh my gosh, that would look so cool. Ah, do I do it? I'm Okay, so my thoughts here are that I'm a little bit nervous to put this spiky bra under here because I don't want to, I don't want to end up either poking this little sheer material or leaving little dips and dents all over it um, from having it stretched out across these spikes. So I think that's the ideal choice, but I love this shirt so much and it's brand new. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm ready to like risk destroying it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Another option would just be it over just a regular black bra. That could do, that could do. Another cool choice would be one like this that has like a cool strappy back since the shirt is see-through all the way around. So you get to see this cool shape in the back too. As much as I, oh, I so wanna go with the spiky one. I think I'm just gonna go regular black, but it's brand new. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> and while I'm in here, let's talk shoes. All right, so we got red pants. I know I have these like gray boots that are kind of like strappy and cool and kind of punky. They're falling apart a little bit, kind of cool. I also have these red boots up here. So we'll just have to decide if we want to go black or red with it. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I'm not sure yet which boots I want to wear. If I want to do these more like combat style boots or these like Doc Martin style boots. They're not Docs, they're TUK I think. And I think the hair will be decided by which pair of shoes we wear. All right, so let's go with accessories. I really like the chain and like the zippers that are on these pants. And I wanna kind of go with that same style of accessories, like spiky things, zippery things, something like that. So let's check what we get in here. So these are spiky. This is like a skeleton bracelet. That would be good with it too. This guy, this guy is like 
very spiky. And then like a black choker would probably be pretty cool. This black cross double ring finger thing could be pretty cool with this too. Oh, you know what would be so good with this? This is something that I got um, with the plan of crafting it a little bit more than it currently is now. But it's like a face mask that you wear kind of like this. You'll see this a lot in like K-pop and J fashion. I think they're really cool looking. And I think it would add an element to this outfit that makes it a little bit more me. The craft that I originally got this for, I'll, I'll insert some pictures of a mask that I saw on Amazon that ha that looks like this, but it's like super spiky and punked out. And I plan on doing that with this one, but I just haven't done it yet. Maybe we can pretend we have the spiky bra and the spiky mask and <laughs> this is an imagination outfit, I guess. <laughs> I have the perfect purse for this. Okay, so I think the, I am thinking this skull purse from Killstar would be so good with this. Oh, this one also. The Book of Spells. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> okay, so I think we just need some hair. I think if we go with these, I'm gonna wanna do black hair. And with these, I think red hair. I'll pull them both out. I'm undecided. Okay, hair time. Okay, so this will be black. Black and gray is all in here. 24 inch straight lace front in black. I also have that same wig in red. Yes, perfect. Okay, so here we go. This is the first look. Well, kind of, this is two looks. <laughs> We have the like black version here and then the red version over here. We'll give them a try and we can decide together which one is better. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's finally time to put it on. It's been so long since we've done this. I'm so excited. You guys, I just remembered that I have a jacket that has spiky shoulders that would be good with this too. So many cat toys. Excuse me. Okay, coat closet. Uh, a lot of these coats <laughs> and hmm. <laughs> Let's see, that's mine. And then here is, this one is my spiky. It has some pins on it right now from like a pastel graph, I'm assuming kind of look. <laughs> that is cool, I like that. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> In all of the style walkthroughs that I have done so far, this outfit, it ranks up there with Buzz Lightyear. Do you remember how much I loved that outfit? <laughs> Roll it back. Favorite, 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 favorite. Ah! I love this outfit. I love it. <laughs> I love this outfit just as much as I love Buzz Lightyear. The thing that I love most about fashion is the way that it makes me feel, and this outfit makes me feel so cool. I just feel so cool. I feel like unstoppable. I feel very confident and like I like nobody's gonna mess with me, which is great. Antisocial. <laughs> it's like the word of the week. How topical is this outfit for YouTube this week? I really think that I like the black hair and the black shoes for this outfit, but I will go ahead and try on the red version too, and I'll just put it over there. You can tell me which one you like better. Do you like the red hair and the red boots, or the black hair and the gray boots? I feel like I like, I belong in a video game, and this is the character select screen. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, next up is the brainwashed outfit. For this one, I obviously want to do the black and white kind of theme, and I really want to focus in on this like slime green color. This like bright, bold color on an otherwise like totally monochromatic outfit. I think you can't go wrong with that. So green is gonna be our color for this outfit. And like I briefly mentioned in the intro, I'm thinking I want to go like alien. We're gonna be brainwashed by an alien. And of course the green is gonna work really well with that too. Oh, and one thing actually I do want to mention about these pants, I couldn't really tell online if these patches were real patches or if they were just like printed on with like some lines around a printed design on the pants they are i'm gonna see if i can zoom you in really close you can see that these are actual patches it's i'm actually a little bit surprised by that i kind of thought it was just going to be printed on there but this is a it's a much higher quality detail than just printing it's like a little bit elevated from the rest of the pant leg and then it has like this white thread that goes around 
All right, so right off the bat, I know that for this outfit, I'm going to want green hair. Like, I just know it. All right, so green will be in here. I brought the little shirt in here so that I can compare the greens because, I don't know, I feel like I don't have a lot of green wigs. So I just want to get the one that is the closest color to the green in the brainwashed print on the hoodie. Let's see what we got. So this wig actually, this is my Buzz Lightyear wig. And it actually was released like shortly after I put it in that video and I was like, the, this wig is not out and I don't know when it's ever coming out. <laughs> it eventually came out. And this is the wig that I kind of originally thought that I would wear with this outfit. Well, it's not really showing up very well on camera, but this is a lot more of like a yellowy sort of green. And this is more of like a slime green. I feel like this green would be a better match. <laughs> it looks like it's also, it's been pre-styled from whenever the last time I was wearing this wig. And maybe these are pigtails? I'm not sure what this is. <laughs> like it's not a perfect match, but I think this wig is gonna match it a little bit better than the like yellowy green Rhapsody short in Absinthe. This I think is the cosplay wigs. Oh, what's it called? <laughs> it's just like a straight. This is one that I cut the bangs on in one of my Wig tutorials, that's the one that it is. I can't remember what it's called at this moment. <laughs> now to tap into that alien side a little bit. I think we gotta get our buddy. There he is. Hey guy. This purse is actually from Dolls Kill 2, like several years ago, but pretty appropriate for a Dolls Kill video. That already makes it so much cooler. Oh my God, I love him, he's so cute. So let's get actually some alien accessories. Okay, I'm thinking my little like, generic alien buddy. I think I'm going to skip the bracelets on this one because the sleeves are just so long, um, you wouldn't really be able to see it. So we'll skip that. And then I think I have, here, that guy. Okay, so I think we just need socks and shoes. I kind of want to do like some bright green socks to pull that whole like green motif down to the bottom of the outfit. And these have zippers on the bottom. Can I do this with one hand? Go, 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 go. <laughs> so if you unzip it, I should be able to see the socks that are underneath here. So I'm gonna try to get green socks and then unzip these just to, just to peek out a little bit of that green accent color in this outfit. Okay, okay, green socks, green socks. Um, I know I have some like monster looking, these ones here, but this might be more of that yellowy lime green. Um, I think I have another pair of like witchy green that I wore in like my Halloween lookbook from last year. These ones, do you remember these? I feel like these might be good with this. So I have these green shoes, um, but I'm thinking maybe about pulling more of just the black and white in. I have these wedges, um, they're Vans and they're really freaking cute. And I think these would pair nicely with those bright green socks. All right, I think that's the look. This is feeling very balanced. Like I feel like the green is just the right amount of green and that the black and the white all go very well together. Hi, hey, excuse me. Okay, you're going out of your way to get your hair on my pants. Why are you standing in a line like a balanced beam? <laughs> One of these buns, one of these little pigtail buns, survived the storage. This though, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to revisit that one. Here is my brainwashed outfit. We have the hoodie here, and the sleeves are not as long as I thought they were going to be. Like they're long, definitely. They for sure cover up the whole length of my arm and they go like three fourths of the way down my hand probably, but they don't like hang off my arm like really far like they do on the model. Also this hood, okay, sit down. This hood is so big, which huh, I feel like that's how all hoods should be. And what is the point of having a hood if it's like one of those really tiny ones that like only covers up part of your head? No, not for me. I want these big hoods that I can like totally hide in and just like snuggle up and disappear. <laughs> this one has a great hood. I like this one a lot. And then we got the brainwashed, of course. Oh, and I do want to talk about the sizing of the pants between this one and 
the red pants that I wore in the first outfit because if you remember they're the same style different sizes my opinion on the size that I prefer has shifted after wearing them for a little while so initially I was thinking the medium was better it was just more comfortable when I put it on on my legs I did have the laces tied as tight as they could go and it was still a little bit roomy up in my waist area I will probably need to belt them if I'm like wearing them for real for real and not just for this video but after I had been wearing them for a while they did that thing that jeans and like denim does where it just gets looser the more you wear them the more you break them in which almost made those ones a little bit too big a little bit baggy a little bit saggy and then in turn the smalls they were really hard to put on at first like i was like trying to get them up my legs trying to get them over my hips and i was like i think these are too small but the thing that was hurting the other pair has actually made this pair pretty much a two like a perfect fit like the first few minutes I was like oh my god these are so tight but now they feel comfortable they feel like they fit me really really well it fits good around my waist it's loosened up on my legs a little bit so it's actually become just like super comfortable I think this is the perfect fit if I were to order this um, like style from current mood again I would go with this fall I feel like after a little bit of wear time these are the right choice for me and my butt Okay, so now we just have TLC over here, our TLC outfit. I think we'll start by figuring out what we want to put underneath this hoodie because it is a crop top and the, the back here is about crop top length, but the front, well, if you could see past this little kitty tail, the front move <laughs> is only this long. This is how you know this hoodie is like the softest thing. This cat has all this place to sit. She's like, this is good. So, <laughs> you just headbutt the camera. Um, usually when I'm shopping online, which is like literally always, <laughs> I very rarely see the product photo and take inspiration from the outfit that's like in the photo. The way my brain works is that like I see the thing and I picture it with stuff that I have. However, in this particular product, this particular photo shoot, the way they have it styled with this little stripey shirt underneath it, I love it. I love that. I want to do that. I don't have like a little striped crop top or striped little bralette or anything like that, but I do have an idea of something that maybe we can use that will give us a similar look. I got an idea. Let's try it. This here is my tank top drawer. And I've got colors here, black and whites and like neutrals over here. Unless I'm wearing like a crop top, I'm almost always wearing a tank top underneath my clothes because I'm always a popsicle. I'm like a freezing cold person <laughs> and these uh, help keep me warm. But I'm thinking this little stripey one could definitely work to like kind of mimic what that product photo was doing. Okay, so when I put this on, I'm just gonna fold it up like I'm gonna tuck it in on itself until it's short like a crop top because you can see because you can see it's like a full a full length tank but I think it'll work okay hair this guy has actually been in my room for a little bit now because I was recently adding these dark roots to this wig it is the 24 inch lace front in yellow it's the same actually as the ones that we were wearing earlier the black and the red one it's kind of been a current fave for a little bit, but this one's in here because uh, I was just doing the roots on it. I've kind of changed my dark roots methods a little bit to more of this like shadow root rather than a natural looking root. I was thinking I might do a new like updated dark root wig tutorial. So if you guys like this and if you're interested in learning how I did it, let me know in the comments. Okay, so for the shoes for this outfit, um, I have two in mind that I think would go well with this. I mean, of course, these yellow ones, I think it would be a shame not to use these because they're like the same, that same yellow. I think those would be really cool with this. But when I was originally um, like thinking about this outfit, I thought I would put my black platforms with it. My YRU platforms, you know the ones. They're kind of like my usual shoes that I go to. I feel like they're a bit of a safer choice for that reason that they are ones that I normally go to. I think they go really well with the style of this outfit. But for the sake of like not doing the safe choice, I think I want to do the yellow shoes. So because we're going with completely see-through boots, our sock choice is going to matter. And I think I want to bring like that black that's up in the shirt 
down to the feet so maybe just like black socks in here peeking through and then they'll be kind of like black and yellow boots I think that'd be cool all right so I'm just gonna grab out a pair here of black socks you guys I just had the best idea while I was sitting here looking at my socks my whole drawer of striped socks our tank top is striped what if we match our socks to the tank top I have so many pairs of black and white striped socks there's literally four pairs just right here <laughs> and it will like tie in the stripes from the tank top down to the feet ah, live for this <laughs> this is so much fun <laughs> okay and now let's see what are we missing a bag seriously why <laughs> there we go okay so i've got this tank top and i want to make it into that little crop top so what i'm gonna do is i think i will fold it up like this, line up these little stripey guys, and then fold it back down. Just have to like line up the little stripes, and it's just like a little crop top. Ah! The chains are so cold! Ah, the chains are cold! <laughs> One thing that I really like about this hoodie as a human popsicle is that it goes over anything because it really is just this top part up here, but it gives you sleeves to keep you warm if you, like me, are a human popsicle. And if like these chains don't go with your style or your look that day, they're attached by like these kind of clippy guys. So you can just like take it off really easily and then just have like some black sleeves, some normal black sleeves. So it can really go with like any kind of outfit. Okay, this outfit, you guys, like the first outfit, this one gives me very specific, like a very specific feeling. That one made me feel like I was in a video game. This one, it makes me feel like I am a backup dancer in a music video. So like oddly specific. <laughs> but that's what I feel like. Even though I have no dancing skills or like talent, ability, none of that. I fall over just walking like 85 times a day, but I feel like I look the part. Just throw like some cool lighting on me. Lots, lots of jump cuts. And you got yourself a backup dancer. I can't really decide if I like these pants better pushed down like this or up around my waist like this. They fit like they're supposed to be up around your waist, but I feel like the look is much more like 90s, early 2000s music video fashion, but it's pushed down around my hips. And that's like forever a look I'm going for. So. <laughs> so even though I have never and will never have abs like chili, I still think this outfit is pretty cool. I feel really good in it. I love this outfit. 10 out of 10. These looks were so much fun for me to put together because I so rarely do outfits like this. If you'd want to see more like it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if there's any specific shops you guys want, any brands you like, or if you want me to do another Dolls Kill video, maybe we could do that. They have like so many different kinds of clothes uh, that we could definitely probably probably definitely do Dolls Kill again. They actually have a lot of cool like festival wear and club wear that I think could make a really fun fashion video. So let me know if you guys want something like that. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I had just, I had the best time. I feel so cool in these outfits. I feel so cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up, bell, notification, YouTube, YouTube, you know the drill. <laughs> Thanks again so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This outfit is so cool. I'm gonna wear this forever.